All right, I'm seeing if uh, Ghoul wants to play some games. Your opinion on the strat tips and your thoughts, please. Let's take a look. What am I watching? What what am I watching? What happened at A? Did you guys even do A pressure? Wait. wait, wait. What am I even watching right now? So you guys did no A pressure, you went straight towards B. Okay, so you're lining up your shit now after having no map control and not knowing if the CTs are flanking you or anything, okay? And not knowing if there's four CTs here or not. So you smoke off the bridge, you smoke off this part here, which is going to block graffiti from looking out. You molly graffiti, you molly lower CT, likely molly or smoke heaven. That's CT smoke, then you walk up through the smokes. <laughs> uh, I see. They made a line of smoke. <laughs> that's a fucking setup. Uh, that's funny, ask gimmick, dude. Sidewalk, so they can they know when the molly's down. They walk through the smokes. Oh. Yeah, that's a good strat. That's funny as fuck, dude. Oh, and then you did as a fake here. They're doing the same strat, they're doing the same strat, they're doing the same strat, guys! They're doing the same strat. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> uh, it was pretty oh, fucking funny, fucking dude. Calls, man. They're like freaking out that they're coming to <laughs> so I rotate, and there's like nobody at B. This is retarded. Oh, that's so funny as shit, dude. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking funny. I really thought they were going B, dude. You guys were making calls like they were fucking executing and shit, dude. Oh, that's some funny ass shit. I, I like that. It's a good gimmick. Like, okay, so uh, the idea behind those strats are like when you. Um, when you create those types of strategies, they work really well um the first time you show them so let's say let's say i'm sk and i want to use that strat that's the fucking strat that i save for like that or the type of strat that i would save for it's like elimination match so let's say um we're tied up one one in a series and we really need to win to make it to advance uh in the tournament like i'm playing astralis and it's overpasses third map and they're beating us that's the type of gimmick i'd run to get some rounds in my favor. Otherwise, that's something that you save for like major finals type of shit, you know? If I'm a, a lower team, 
and I don't think that teams are particularly going to like be spending time anti-striding, then it can work a little bit more frequently. But the, the problem with those types of strategies is like once you've kind of shown your hand and people know what what you're doing with those smokes. Because the first time, okay, let's say you're CT and you see all those smokes and Molly's coming. You have no idea what the fuck to expect. You expect like, okay, they're going to come monster, they're going to come short, they're going to try to fight us from the site. You never expect people to just walk through the line of smokes. And that's why it works really fucking well. It's really fucking cutesy strat and I like it. It's It's... <laughs> It's a good strat. I like it. But it's a big gimmick in the sense that it's not something that you rely on to win you a lot of rounds. It's something that you do um, every now and then um, to kind of throw a curveball at at the dudes. Um, so in that regard, yeah, absolutely. It's it's uh, I like it. I like it. And you can do – it's thinking outside the box, and you could do that on other maps for sure as well. Uh, you can do things similar to that on other maps. Um, on it's kind of similar, but not really. We would do uh, on old nuke nuke ve. We would do smokes that connect outside, so we'd use two smokes, and then we'd have like four people walking um, towards the secret steps, and you would be just holding shift walk. And it would be completely dead silent. You just walk all the way through, and sometimes you'd go big garage, sometimes you'd go down the steps. Um, so it really, it reminds me of, it reminds me of that. And it's good. I like it, but it's not gonna. Work. It's not something that you can rely on every time you play. Just stomp your legs. Thank you, my dude. Dude. Don't, Don't do it on stream, see what I'm saying? <laughs> Looking out. In, and that you're going to bed. Yeah, no, no, and just, then just 18 minutes later, you do that. Is this your way of just like so, uh, boring yourself eating, to sleep so you or something? You're going to have to hard carry game one. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm so down. Get ready to pick me up, though. Can you press F? Yeah, 100%. Dude. Okay, we're good then. I won't peek anyone at like at any cost. <laughs> the cobble retake strat where the T's retake the site instead of taking yeah. it normally. Uh, we were a lower team that just started and we we're trying to get high and open. Yeah, I mean, okay, so those types of strats are, are gimmicks. They're not something that... Okay, so let's compare it to a default strategy where... Oh, man. First or time like, of the day. Makes or sense even, to, uh, even like a common strategy. A common strategy would be to do two like smokes. Hour, so that's pretty much two smokes that would block off... Uh, Building a base. Fuck, I kind of want to mute these guys for a second so I can answer fun you. Stuff, fun stuff. It's actually a pretty cool game, though, man. I enjoyed it <clears throat> so yeah. far. Yeah, I like uh, base building games. They're actually really entertaining. Yeah, uh, I'm muting for a sec. Beer back, though. Okay. Um, so on overpass, if you're doing like a B execute, for example, you smoke off the graffiti CT area, you smoke off heaven, you molly the barrels, you molly the pit, and you come out and you just grind the frags, generally from monster. If you go A, you smoke off bank and jump up, and you molly truck and default, or you can smoke off... Um, the truck, in between truck and default, and in between default and the APC, and you just completely smoke that off and take the bomb site. Those are, are normal default strategies, and they they work uh, because they isolate the enemies, so you only have to focus on killing like two, maybe three people on the site. Um, you control what positions they can play from, and then you go in and you grind the frags. And because you're going four or five against two or three, like it, it works really well that way. So. Um, it, it works really well because you rely on your teamwork, you isolate the enemies, you can uh, control how they play and where they can only, like, where they can peek you from, and it's really easy to, to win the round that way because, you know, you're just going out and you have a lot of bodies, and especially at lower divisions when you're in open, Okay, the difference between open and uh, pro level is like pro level, if you peek me and I'm on CT side, I'm two tapping you. 
but if we're in open, maybe I miss my first few shots, and then you're able to get out, which means that your teammate's able to get out, you both look at me, and now you have two people shooting me, and um, if I don't kill you quick enough, then I'm just going to die. That's why these types of default strats work, and that's why just overloading spots with a lot of bodies works well. Your gimmick strats will work, but it's not something that you should rely on to do every single round, because teams will catch on and start like uh, outplaying you because of it. Anyways, I gotta unmute right now. Yeah, I'm back, sorry. 